How does it feel to have created one of the worst, one of the worst, one of the best <laughs> things called You're the Worst? Uh, it, it feels good. I think the, uh, the title is catchy enough that people get to make puns about it. And, um, but um, no, I mean, it's to have a set fourth season is amazing. I never would have thought we would. And people, I mean, all over the internet have been talking about how this is such a breath of fresh air. Because, you know, in other shows with romantic comedies and shows like that, you have to fit a perfect standard. And with this show, it's so real. And you feel like you can watch it and not feel bad about your life. <laughs> <laughs> so wh what was the concept, you know, going into this? I mean, really, the concept was... Uh, to do a romantic comedy that didn't feel like all other romantic comedies. I felt I was a big fan of the genre and I felt that it had grown a little stale, you know, with the Ka Katherine Heigl movies and stuff, not to be mean to her. But, you know, she was a victim of a, of a, a long cycle coming to an end and I felt like I had been through the dating world and I knew that um, I hadn't really seen how it really kind of is and how gross it can be out there really portrayed uh, in TV. Um, but I also thought that it was a good opportunity to tell a story about two people who uh, um, don't really feel deserving of love or don't really believe in it. Um, you know, touching the more cynical parts of all of us. Um, seeing two people uh, who are like that actually find it, I think, um, I thought would be kind of uh, inspiring and um, people would recognize themselves in the characters. So, you, you, you're you a fan of romantic comedies. What, what is like your biggest inspiration for it? I mean, do you have a, I'm trying to ask you what's your favorite romantic comedy movie? I, you know, I, I think like, like Harry Met Sally is a gold standard. That's it's my really favorite. good and if you think about it, that movie made Billy Crystal like a romantic male lead. You know it was goddamn good if it was able to do that. Because he's not like, you know, a traditional, like, no one's like, I need to bone Billy Crystal immediately. <laughs> so, I mean, no offense, but it's true. And so, um, so I, I think it was just so well written and so well cast. And, uh, and, uh, and as a whatever I was, 12 year old, I thought it was really cool and I wanted a friendship relationship like that. Well, I, see, I love that you said that. That's actually my top five, for sure. Yeah, oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. People give romantic comedies a bad name just because of where it's gone, but this show completely reverses it. So I want to ask, um, how do you find that balance of working with really amazing actors that can ad-lib like nobody's business, but also stick to a script? Well, <laughs> we don't ad-lib. So uh, I'm, I'm a very, uh, I'm, I'm a dictator in terms of the words. We spend a lot of time writing the script, so I kind of feel like um, you should say the words that we wrote. So uh, yeah, I'm not, a, I'm not big on improv. Okay, cool. Um, what, what, are, what can you give us, a little sneak peek for this coming season? Anything at all, exclusive? Um, let's see, Gr uh, Gretchen sings, Jimmy sings, Desmond sings, and Kather sings. They all sing. L L L Lindsay sings. Yeah, there's, they all get to sing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so exciting. I, I am so excited to see where everyone goes um, because it's, it's something so new and different and I'm glad that you're tapping into this industry, you know, in this, in this realm of TV. Um, oh, yeah, so is there anything else you'd like to share with us? Uh, no, just thanks so much for watching and uh, we really appreciate it. We hope to see you next year for season five. Yay. <laughs>